How's it going, everyone? Good to see you. Glad to have everyone in here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. Well, maybe not so quick. I wanted to do a video going over some Patreon questions, going over any questions you guys might have, talking about the market a little bit uh, because it is actually significantly green, which I don't think is something that a lot of us thought would happen after yesterday and with like the triple witching hour and all that stuff going on. So I want to talk to you about that. Um, it looks like there is a decent delay on this, actually. Let's see. I need to reload my phone here, but I think people are starting to get in here. Okay, sweet. So uh, welcome, everyone that didn't see this at the beginning. Uh, sorry, uh, there's a little bit of a delay there, but uh, I want to go over some Patreon questions, answer any questions you guys have to uh, talk about the market in general and that kind of thing. I thought this would be um, kind of fun to do on a Friday. So I'm going to pull up the market here and show you guys. So Dow is down, but S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are actually up, which is nice to see after the week we've seen here. Now, uh, just going back here, a lot of stocks are in the green. So again, I want to answer some questions here in a second, but just look, 15% up for Vuzi. Uh, a lot of these penny stocks up, some uh, stocks like Bitcoin miners, like Clean Spark up, MP Materials up. I just talked about them. Voyager, a stock that we got in pretty early is up a decent amount. We got in under 20, I believe. Uh, and I say early, we we bought just recently, but it's been up and up and up for them. Conversion Lab, we were able to add more to that when it was like 14 or 15 a couple weeks ago. Uh, sends up a decent amount. And then we have some red, but not that much and not anything that's really significant except for HIMS and the VIX. But uh, HIMS, I don't hold anymore and the VIX is actually good to see go red. So uh, actually not that bad today. Uh, a lot of green in the market, surprisingly. Now, again, I, I want to hit on some of your questions here in a second, but I want to go through some of the Patreon questions first because I do this pretty much every day. Um or I've been doing it pretty much every day. And I think a lot of people like it. So uh, Tuya IPO. So I just threw it out there. Like if you guys have questions, feel free to ask them here. So I'm not sure exactly what Tuya does. I just pulled them up. It, it's a China based provider of cloud services. So I haven't looked into it. I don't know their valuation. Um, it says that they raised 915 million on US IPO. Yeah, so I I haven't heard about this one and I haven't heard really anyone talking about it though. If like a handful of people ask me about it, I'll look deeper into it. Thought on plug. So I know a lot of people have been looking at plug recently. A lot of people have been wondering uh, my thoughts on plug and just like plug in general, is it a good time to buy? So I'll pull it up here. I kind of have my own thoughts on it. <laughs> but the plug power stock. I guess I could have just put plug stock. Um, okay, so they had some news earlier this week, or maybe it was last week, uh, some problems with how they were accounting. And honestly, it's not something that I really want to jump into. I think hydrogen in general is a long-term play, and this will really affect their margins, what they accounted wrong for. Uh, it's come down a lot since its highs. It was up at $73. Now it's down about 50%. Uh, I'm not going to buy it most likely. Uh, I haven't, like, I don't know. I just, I don't want to get into this one. And the fact that they got their revenue or their um, their accounting mixed up makes me a little bit more bearish. I could be wrong though. Like I'm not saying anything bad about the company. I don't think anything's wrong with it um, necessarily. I just when companies have something like this and I'm not already invested, like plug power already seemed like it had a high valuation in general. It was up at 40 billion. I don't know. I'm I'm not super bullish on it. C3 AI. Okay, let's pull that one up. C3 3 AI stock. Okay. So it's a software company. This one's come down a lot too. Holy cow. It was at 177. Now it's at 75. It's gone down about 57%. So uh, this is another one um, that I haven't really looked into that much, but the CEO just sold half a million shares. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That could just be because 
maybe it was a scheduled selling or maybe he just gets paid his whole compensation in shares. But that's actually a decent amount of money because the share price is actually decently high. It's not like a penny stock where they sold 500,000 shares. Like he got, what is that? Uh, 550. He got like 38 mil or something from that, 35 mil, which is actually a, a lot he, he took out of there. So I'm not sure about this one. Uh, okay. So it's a business. Do you guys know about it? Let me know down below. Um, and I'll answer some of your questions here in a second too. Uh, I just want to go through, uh, these questions first. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm throwing off here. Uh, okay. Thoughts on Vuzi, Sam. Don't think it's one that I, that you have covered. Yeah. So this one is not one that I've covered. It's smart glasses. I just pulled it up beforehand to take a look at it. It's an interesting company, but I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's been moving up a lot. I think about a hundred percent since the like the low correction a couple weeks ago. But it's an AR company, augmented reality. It's been increasing their sales pretty drastically recently. And I saw that they just had a big order from like a what was that a top one hundred company in the U.S. Uh, yeah, this one I don't know m much about AR. It's not like something that I take a look a lot into, or I have taken a lot a look into, but I think it will be really important for medicine. Um, I think that's something that will be really beneficial. And you can see some of the other fields here. I think they actually have a slide with, yeah, all their healthcare customers. So, uh, yeah, the, these seem like they would continue to grow or this seems like it would continue to grow here because I think it would be really beneficial. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one that I have to look into more. It's not one that I have looked into a lot in the past. I don't know if you guys have taken a look at it, but it's not something that I've really looked at too much. All right. Uh, any NFT plays? So the only NFT play that I've had is Square. I haven't really looked into too many NFTs, uh, NFT plays besides that. Uh, what do I think about Viacom? Again, not one that I've really looked at too much. Um, really, I... Uh, I haven't looked at that one. Uh, thoughts on any under the radar reopening plays? Uh, so I I thought Disney was a really good reopening play, and it has been. I was buying in like one the 120 range. I was buying before that too, but when I really started thinking about it as a recovery play, I thought of it. It was like in the 120 range, but uh, yeah, I that wasn't really under the radar. I think that was probably one of the most obvious reopening plays. I'm buying more tech though. I'm not really trying to buy reopening plays as much right now. What is my price target for CLSK? You got in at 22, 23. Uh, so CLSK, I don't think 40 is too greedy. If they clear up their lawsuits, I think it will go up dramatically. What do I think about the Chinese government banning Tesla and certain work facilities? Yeah. So I saw that they were doing that in government facilities and I understand it. I don't know if it's if it's really that significant, uh, I don't know if like the government. Yeah. So I don't know if them banning them in government buildings or government facilities will be that dramatic. I don't know how many vehicles they sell to Chinese uh, government entities or something like that. Update. How much do I make on YouTube? So I just did that like a week or two ago. I actually lost subscribers for that video, um, <laughs> which is interesting. What are my top 10 long-term stocks? Well, I just did a video on MP Materials. Uh, Disney is a long-term play. GHVI is a long-term play. SFTW is a long-term play. I'm I'm pulling it up here on my phone. Uh, I don't want to make this like an all-inclusive list, but uh, I have Sens, BNGO. I like those long-term. These are all a little bit more risky. Uh, Squares in there, though. Teladoc, ChargePoint. Those are all pretty long-term plays for me, and I have other ones too, but... What's my price target for BNGO and SENS on long-term? Oh man, it's so hard to tell because their markets are so big. It's hard it, It's hard to know what kind of market share they have on them or what, what they will have. I'm not sure I want to make a price target for either of them because like if I said, okay, let's say they can both double, right? By next year, they could easily go up and double like in the next month if the market turns that way. So 
I, I don't know if there's a good way of putting a long-term price target on them. What's the best OTC stock you recommend for long investment? Probably the company that I was just buying, Voyager. I did a video on it recently. How do I feel about GoEV? So GoEV has been being down a lot. Uh, I'm not investing in it because it's it's a really, like, I don't know. So it's it's Canoe, I believe. They have those, uh, the like, the EV boards or something that they go underneath the cars. I've heard, I've heard, conversations or I've made, I've heard arguments being made for them. Um, I think it could do really well, but if it doesn't, uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it will do well long-term uh, if, if they can't, like it's going to be a make or break company. I'm trying to say any knowledge on why various Volkswagen stocks and why they're all still OTC. Yeah. I have no idea why those are OTC. Um, I don't know if they're like subsidiaries uh, or like uh, underneath Volkswagen or something. I'm not sure. What do you think of RMO and FII? So I don't know what FII is. RMO, um, I was nervous about them when they had such a big dependence on on Nikola because I was not bullish on Nikola and like half their pre-sales were from Nikola. CLSK price target for you. Uh, man, if they can get rid of those lawsuits, if they can take care of those lawsuits, I could see it doubling from here in the next year, especially if Bitcoin price goes up, especially if they're able to get those extra miners. What do you think about SOS? Uh, I didn't really want to dabble in that one just because of all the issues it's had. And guys, I will answer your questions in a second. I just want to get through the rest of this. I don't think there's too much left. I could be wrong though, because there are 12 questions it says here. Okay, what uh, do you suggest we do with ICBU? So I don't, I don't know about that one. Uh, so I'm probably not the best person to ask about it. I'm holding SFTW and RAAC. Are they still good to hold? Yeah, so they're both near net asset values. They're both around uh, $10. I, I like both of them. RAAC and SFTW are more long-term plays for me. And I guess they could be swing plays if they move up dramatically in the short term, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that they will move up a ton. I don't think I see them going to... You know, like I don't see RAC going and doubling in the next couple months. I could be wrong though if the market, like I said, if the SPAC market turns around. But SFTW has, I think, a little bit more firepower, a little bit more growth possibly in it because of the fact that it's in the space sector, especially with Arc X coming out here soon, probably. USWS, uh, what are you thinking? Is it going up again? Uh, so USWS, I believe that was an oil play. Uh, let me see. I know a lot of people had been talking about this one for a while. Uh, yeah, so I think this was an oil play. I had looked at this. Uh, a lot of people had been talking about it, I think. Um, hydraulic fracturing. Yeah, so I hadn't I hadn't gotten into that. I, I don't know about it too much, though. I haven't looked at it recently, like since it fell. But yeah, it took a big dip. A lot of people were trying to get me to talk about it, to buy it around here, and it's fallen off since then. Um, but yeah, uh, what are my thoughts on SFTW? Hasn't moved much in the recent weeks. Yeah, so I still like it. It's got government contracts. It's a space play. It's not one that like in this market environment, it's tough for these SPACs to really do well, it looks like. But I still like it long term, especially around NAV. Like there's really very little risk. Uh, thanks for the great work. Do you have any feedback on VIRX and Veru? So I have never done a video on this one. I talked about Veru a long time ago, but not recently. Uh, okay, I've looked at TIGR before. Um, yeah, so I've looked at it, but again, that's probably another one that I'm not... Uh, I'm not the best person to ask about because it's been a while. Oust. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't looked at that one either. Man, there are just so many tickers on the market. I Sometimes I feel a little bit stupid doing these videos because I, uh, I like, there are just so many different companies that I haven't talked about that I haven't looked into. Uh, any thoughts on DMYI? Uh, quantum computing apart from space stocks main reason i trade you uh do you use any quantum computing besides dmyi 
uh, or space stocks that are the list of company. Uh, so that's a loaded questions, a loaded question. Um, I don't know any other quantum computing stocks. Uh, these are the ones that I've really invested in before. I don't, there are probably some other ones I've talked about, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, this, the, when will the ticker change to Lucid Motors for CCIV? That's probably going to be a while. Usually it takes like three to six months or something. Usually three-ish months for the spec to go through. Uh, I really like DKNG and Fubo. Um, and I saw that Penn was added. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like the betting sector in general. You think CLSK is still a good buy under 24? Yeah, I do think so. If you're looking long-term, just know that it's risky because of that lawsuit. Like, I mean, it, it's higher risk because of that. Uh, but I still think it's like being held down by that, which makes it a better value compared to a lot of the other, uh, a lot of the other crypto mining stocks. May we please request a a buy a put and sell a put video on these days? Um, so I don't I don't do any options trading. Check on G N O G. So I'll pull it up here. Yeah. So golden nugget. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's pretty low compared to where it was before. Well, not pretty low. I guess it, it went to nineteen. Early March, it was 13. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really like DKNG, and I like Fubo for the like the, the ability that they have to go back and forth between the streaming and the betting. When is the bond sale going to be over? So the 10-year uh, so treasury is really what is moving the market, in my opinion, and that's going to keep on moving. That's what people what people are betting on what bond market traders are betting on the market doing or betting on uh, interest rates doing uh, what time should you sell Callister and maritime? I am not sure. Like I, I, I can't tell you what to do that based on your portfolio and like what you want out of it. It's difficult. Um, C3 AI again, I need to look at that one more. Confidence is real low right now because last year, March 20, when everything crumbled. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think people are like looking at last year and thinking, oh, it's been a year time for everything to fall again. PYR is a 3D printing company that has recently been added to the NASDAQ and ARC is invested. Any thoughts? So ARC has been investing in a lot of these 3D printing companies. I think they're just investing like in the general 3D printing market, essentially. Um, and Honestly, I don't know what makes one 3D printing company better than another. I mean, I guess like where they are, their current customers, like uh, where, like what kind of scale they're already at. But long term, I don't know who's going to be the winner of the 3D printing race. What do I think about the current prices of CCIV, CLSK, and SENS? Uh, low enough to jump in for those who are not yet invested. Yeah, so CCIV is pretty low. I mean, obviously it was lower uh, recently, it's sitting around 30, I think now. It was lower. It went down to like 22 or something like that uh, a couple weeks ago, but everything fell. So it was hard to jump into specific stocks like CCIV when everything's falling so much. Uh, but CCIV, I think, is going to be good long term. I think it will, from what I've heard, it's really like second behind Tesla in the US for EV. CLSK, same thing. Like if they can clear up those lawsuits, the thing's going to skyrocket. Sends, I really like long-term. I'm just not buying because it's already doubled up from where I had it at. And I still have a good portion of my portfolio in it for what I'm okay with for a penny stock. But I like it still under $3. Of course, none of this is financial advice. Hi, Sam. Uh, do you go live via chat or is it an actual video through YouTube? It's through YouTube. Usually I do on my second channel under my financial friend too, almost every day, but I'm doing it on the main channel today. Toyota Thoughts, SkyDrive, Hydro, SSB Pens. Um, yeah, so I haven't looked at Toyota as an investment really that much. I know it's like one of the, was it the second largest on market cap out there? Uh, hi, Sam. No, you hold actual crypto, but any thoughts on Argo blockchain? No, so I don't. I don't know too much about Argo blockchain, honestly. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, 
uh, I can ask or answer any questions you guys have. So um, let's take a look. I, I'm just going to pull them up on my phone. It's way easier to take a look here. ABML or SENS? I like SENS probably more. Um, they're very different though. Uh, okay. Weak start good and then it dropped. Ash K S uh, Akshay says, yeah, so yeah, that, that was kind of rough for a lot of us. Uh, do you know anything about FRX? So let me pull that up here. So FRX has come down a decent amount. It's near net asset value. I did a video on it. Um, I, this is the beach body spec, right? Yeah. So I did a full video on this. Or is this the Shack spec? Uh, yeah, I think FRX is the beach body, right? I think so. It's near net asset value. I've done a video on it for sure. Um, okay. What are your thoughts on performance of tech or value stocks over the over the next couple of years? I think tech will do well. I think tech will do better than value over the long term. Uh, I could be wrong though. I mean, it sounds like interest rates are going to stay low for a while, which should help tech stocks. TSNPD. Uh, I bought this one like, I don't know, five months ago, four months ago when it was really low. It fell as soon as I bought it and then it came back up and has been flying since it's it's come down a little bit though recently. But this is one that I just bought. I'm holding on to for a long time. I bought, I bought such a small amount that I'm not really too worried about it. Young investor, good to see you in here. Uh, okay. Any stock between five and ten dollars with good potential. Um, so I don't have a list of those at the moment. I mean, I guess I could pull up Weeble and uh, and run it through by price, but uh, I I don't know. I don't think that it's really important to have anything between five and ten dollars. I guess if you're buying like one share and you don't have fractional shares, then it matters. But uh, otherwise, I would just be looking at the best stocks and then don't worry about like the cost between five and ten dollars. Uh, okay. Do we buy, hold, or sell? Uh, I don't sell too often. Usually I buy. I've been a little bit more cautious this week though, because I had bought so much like last week and actually I got a lot of flack for that. Like I did the video yesterday, um, which like fair, like people, if it's the first day that's red and there hasn't been multiple days in a row, if you put like crash in a video title, People give you a lot of hate for it, which they they say it's like clickbait and stuff. But a lot of people have been asking me, first of all, like if I saw a market crash coming. And second of all, like if you if you live stream, I don't think people care as much because I was watching a couple live streams too and people had crash in their title. They didn't get a hard time. But as soon as it's like a longer video and I did the same thing like a month ago and then the market downturned and then everyone was quiet about it. But uh, But yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. TTOO, I like it long term. Have I ever considered doing more Canadian stocks? Uh, not really, because I don't see Canadian stocks too much in daily life. Like if there were, if there were stocks that I used a lot that were Canadian, or companies I used a lot that were Canadian stocks, I would. But I, I don't want to go out of my way. Um, like if if someone brings it up to me and I think it's a great company, uh, then I'll I'll look into it more. But I'm not like specifically looking for them. AGTC is soaring. What do I think? Okay, let me pull it up on my phone real quick. Okay. AGTC. Okay, it's up 8%. Nice. Uh They just got, so they got an updated price target. Uh, let me see here for a second too. Still bullish on NPA. So I sold NPA a while ago. Uh, I sold it just, I think it was right before the market dipped possibly because I didn't have enough in it. Like I don't have anything against it, but 
I like I just didn't have enough in it to make it worth keeping track of. But yeah, I think it probably will do well. Uh, it's one of those make or break stocks, though, where like it either does really well or it's going to do really horribly over the next 10 years. Uh, I still hold my AGTC, by the way. I think I added a little bit at one point. Will I do a video analysis on Vuzi? Possibly. Uh, if you guys want that, let me know. I'm not against it. I just like... Uh, I probably should do it honestly, uh, because I, I've had a couple people ask me about it and it's been going up so much. Maybe I'll do that because, uh, because I need something for the weekend. Anyways, I've taken a look into it a little bit. Do I like cheese on toast? I have never put straight up cheese on toast, but it sounds decent. STPK. Uh, yeah, I like STPK long-term. I was talking about it today with my group, with the Patreon group, like saying that, it was uh, one that I was looking at and I thought it was a decent valuation. Uh, I should move down further. Uh, dessert, dessert made, thank you. Uh, have I heard any updates on CLSK lawsuit or do you know where I can look to get info about it? I bought it $23 looking to buy more. Um, so you can probably, I mean, you can Google it. I know that there have been updates, but it's, it's been mostly like uh, like reminders. Like if you've been financially hurt by CLSK, contact us, but I haven't heard anything else. CLSK seems to not be that worried about it. Uh, so I don't know. I, I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but I could always be wrong. Um, also, can you compare CLSK and Morrow? So I've done a video on it before, uh, comparing them and Riot a little bit too. Uh, thing is, uh, even if CLSK is more expensive, I liked CLSK more because of the fact that they also have their energy segment. So I really like that it or their energy side of the company. So that makes it a little bit less risky for me, uh, just in case like in case the crypto market sells off, which I don't think it will. But like a couple months ago, who who knew where crypto would be? I think a lot less people were bullish on crypto like three or four months ago. So that's something that I liked about it. Hi, Sam. How long do you think it will be until the market settles down and the volatility disappears? Cheers. Uh, so I think I think we're going to continue to see the, the 10-year treasury go up, up uh, probably into the twos. And then people will get over it probably in the next couple months. Uh, I think that I think we'll be over this hopefully in the next couple months. Uh, hopefully some more reopening happens. And then like people aren't just investing in all recovery stocks and hopefully they're back in tech and looking long-term in tech. So uh, yeah, I think, I think it won't be too long, but we could see some volatility short-term still. Since we saw a large incline last year in the NASDAQ, do you think, uh, do you, do you feel that this is the start of a slow drop for 2021? I don't think we'll see a drop throughout the full year, but I, yeah, a lot was like a lot of people bought the NASDAQ. A lot of people were buying ARC. A lot of people were buying big, big tech. A lot of people were buying SPACs. So we saw, we did see like a large amount of people that pulled money from these long-term uh, like blue chip plays, Dow plays, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines of the world, and they put it into tech. So I could see maybe not the same growth as last, definitely not the same growth as last year, but I think we'll still see the NASDAQ do well and some of the big tech plays do well. But a lot of it has been priced in. I think like some of the big tech plays, they're pretty richly valued and they don't have the growth like some of the smaller tech plays. Thoughts on Palantir for long term? I like it a lot. I hold it in one of my uh, one of my portfolios. Maybe yeah, I think just one of them. But I bought during the dip. Grilled cheese, uh, grilled cheese is cheese on toast. True. Yeah, I guess that is true. Have I heard of Mogo? No, I haven't heard of that one. Okay, I think we will be. Hmm. Let me know. What do you guys think I should do a video on over the weekend? Should it be Vuzi? Uh, HCMC, please. I don't I don't cover this one too in depth. I've done one video on it. Okay. Let me know what you guys want me to do a video on uh, over 
the weekend because I, I did one video uh, earlier this week for the weekend, but I need another one. What do I think about SFTW? Yeah, I think near net asset value, which it is at around $10, it's pretty cheap. And I really like it. I bought a lot more in like that 1030 to 1040 range that I was at a couple weeks ago. That being said, like it is a company though that like they have revenue, they have government contracts, but it is one of those higher, like higher risk plays once they merge because it's, it is like a $30 million revenue company and it's being valued at a few billion dollars. So if we continue to see like a, a large sell off in tech, that could be a problem, but their merger is months down the road. Video on ALYI. It's an interesting crypto play. So I've heard a couple of people say that um, in here. Okay, let me pull that up so that way I have it after the stream is done. Alternate systems. It's a tense. Uh, I, I don't think I'll probably do this. It's an OTC, OTC stock. It's $11 million market cap. Um, well, I'll still... I'll. I'll still take a look into it to see if it's something I really like. I I'm just cautious about stocks that are this small. Like, like someone themselves in our Patreon could buy like a tenth of the company. So I'm just cautious about that. Okay, so some of these I haven't I haven't done too much research on, so I don't want to like put my two cents into some of these on this that you guys are asking about just because I don't want to like misinform people because I haven't done enough research. So uh, if things open up more, inflation goes up and stock goes down. I don't know if that's necessarily the case because I think we expect things to open up. I think we expect some inflation because inflation was so low last year. So I think I think some people are expecting that. I think most people are expecting that. Jerome Powell said that we could expect that. But I, I get what you're saying though too. Like if there's hyperinflation. Okay, so some people are saying skills possibly. Yeah, I might I might do a video on skills too sometime soon. Honestly, they had that short seller report. I hadn't been investing in it before that. I thought about it, but it moved up so quickly. I missed the boat a little bit on the valuation side. Uh, but it's come down now a good, a good amount. Uh, what's the best platform to trade crypto outside US? That is a great question. I don't know too many platforms outside the US that have crypto. So I guess you could probably, I'm assuming you could just Google it, but uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I know I know most of the crypto platforms I've seen, I think are here in the US. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that, that's a good question. Probably for Google. Sorry. Uh, is Tesla a good long-term hold given the news from China today? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. I mean, I don't think that's going to be that big a deal for them long-term. Like the fact that Chinese governments aren't letting them have their cars inside their building. Okay. Hexo, Quidel. Okay. All right. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming and watching. Uh, for If you guys want to ask questions like this in the future, like I said, I answer the questions in the Patreon pretty much every day. So if you guys want to check out the Patreon, there's a link down below. Definitely check that out if you're interested. Thank you. Thank you for checking out the link to BlockFi in case you are in the US and you want some interest on your cryptocurrency. Uh, definitely check that out down below. I'm going to be moving more money in there after I close up my house soon. Uh, so that will be awesome to get some interest on that. Also, there's a link down to Weeble if you guys want it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.